third one is a cleanup cut. How do I get rid of that line and that ramp so it's nice and clean? And you'll also notice that this, in the, another video, this is all rough and jagged. How do I clean that up rather than sand my fingers to the bone? So we're going to look at a cleanup cut for this edge and this edge. A cleanup cut is really different from any other because it actually is a combination of cuts. What I want to do on a cleanup is actually clean up the outside edges of the item I'm making. In this case, that would clean up a flute cut. In this case, it's cleaning up a deep cut on the end of it. Each one of these flutes is going to leave a half circle on the end when it stops. So that leaves a jagged edge. And how do I clean that up? I simply come in and offset from the end of where I cut. I'll zoom in so you can see it. I offset about a hundredths of an inch and do one cut that is deep. I'll highlight my flute cleanup. I click it and you see it turns green. And when I open it up, you can see that the depth is the same as it was before. It starts at 0 0.0 and goes down to 0.6. The difference is, get where you can see that, the difference is if you look right here under the edit box, I've changed my depth of cut. It opens up this pop-up window over here, and I've changed my depth of the past 0.6 inches. The reason I can cut so deep is because I'm only cutting a surface of right here. 0.01 so I cut that 0.01 off in one pass that gets rid of the little line okay the second part of that I'll zoom back out is this line see it right there that line right there and if I close the other one and look up the clean up of the deep end, I call it. See it right there, highlighted? Now I'll open that up. And you'll see I did the same thing there. It does it in one pass. That's how you get cleaned up without an edge. See it right there? One pass. And to get that passes, obviously, we had to make our depth the depth of the cut. And in this case, it's 0.56. And that cleans it up. All right, so we've got that. So when we do both of those, if I close it, so we can go and jump to our modeling. And I'm just going to preview the ones that I've got. You don't want to do the cut this way because it's, it would require too much force on your bit. And so I'm just going to preview it, and you'll see how it cuts cuts and then cleans. So that's my cleanup passes. But all this has been removed first. So I and all this has been removed first. So that way it cleans it up last and it's easy on the tool and makes a nice smooth appearance. Now if we look over here you can actually see that when I tell the tool to do something, the order that it appears here is the order that the, the tool will operate in. I do, do my holes first, then I do my flute, then I do my flute cleanup, and then the end cleanup, and then I cut my finger tabs. Those are the orders that I do it. In fact, you can see that if I reset the preview, and I preview all two tool paths, you'll see it does the hole first, then the fluting, then flute cleanup, which won't look like anything on here. It just the tool will be quickly on both sides and across the end. But you can see that the end here, if we zoom in, you can see that the end is jagged and rough there. And once it does that cleanup, you'll see that go away. And that's what the cleanup path does. So you just offset it by a hundredths of an inch from the last pass. See it clean it up there? And then it does the end pockets last. That's just the order I chose. The reason I didn't have to do the end 
the pockets first is because I'm going to cut this material away so that gives it less to cut the second time when it comes in and cuts this. All right, so that's what it looks like. That's a cleanup tool path. So you make it so you just offset a little bit and then cut. Next we'll go back to the shop and you'll see it in action. Now we're going to go back into the wood shop and see the cut. You notice all the way to the back you can actually see the little lines that are cut away. Vacuum that up so you can see it's just taking off 1.01 .01 inches or 1 one hundredth of an inch. It's going to do the other side. You're going to see it come down and, and clean that up. It takes care of a lot of sanding. Now if you notice the rippling on the end, watch how that goes away when it comes across for the deep cleanup cut. See it just clean that right up. All the sanding that you'd have to do to fix that is quite extensive. So that helps clean that all up. See it's doing the back one. Those are cleanup cuts. It's something you might want to add to smooth up your finished project and save you a lot of sanding time. Thanks for watching.